This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video I have no idea whether or not this face cam that I'm recording is gonna make it in or not because I have no idea if it's working properly to be honest with you this is incredibly incredibly uh, uh, like um, what's the word I'm looking for uh, experimental I have not tested it in any way um, I have no low scale <laughs> me all right well then well as you can see I'm playing odd eyes magicians and normally the deck doesn't have this sort of problem of not opening low scales um, or just any scales at all. I mean, you've got Duels to Alliance, you've got Pendulum Call, you've got all the various high and low scales the deck has to offer, you've got Triple Skull, Crabat Joker, you've got all of that, but for some reason I've opened all high scales. Whoops. Okay, well I guess I'll just use uh, the uh, Fairy Tale Luna to try and stun my opponent's play for a turn, hope I don't die, and then my sixth card will probably be something to unbreak my hand, essentially. Because this, old, this, is, this literally hasn't happened in the entire time that I've been playing this deck ever throughout history. Like, this deck does not brick like this. Ah, oh, Black Wings. Okay, well, I saw my opponent had like a thousand rating, so uh, that 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 means that I'm I'm kind of you know expecting something like this. Um, the last person I played that had literally a thousand, like this is their first game on the Checkmate server, was um, was uh, the last person I played that was like this was literally uh, was playing like the Dinosaur Structure decks, like <laughs> no true no true King no true Draco cards. No diagrams, no nothing, um, and uh, and so like yeah. But well, I'm gonna use this uh, this Luna as soon as he synchros into something because the Blackwing extra deck is pretty tight as far as I'm aware. I doubt that he's going to be able to make anything. I doubt that he plays like two ofs of any of like the level sevens, honestly, unless he makes like Raikiri. Um, but what does this thing do? Um, increases cards level by that one. Okay, so it goes up to a five, so we can synchro with these. I, I, okay, but for those of you that are wondering what Fairy Tale Luna is for, Fairy Tale Luna is a uh, is a Kieran replacement essentially that searches more Kieran's. Um, oh my God, you made a Beals when I literally have this card on the field. <laughs> well then, all right. Um, I doubt you play double Beals. I'm just gonna wait for you to try to attack me, and then I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, let's see. Yeah, it can it, it can 100% be targeted by things. Um, so when you attack, I'm just going to use this card to bounce your Beals, and now your Chris is the only thing that stays out. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't think there was even an option there or a prompt, um, because like I doubt that he plays two Beals. Like that's the thing. Like oh, and and no traps, no traps. Okay, all right then. Well, I can I can mess with this. I can fucks with this real good. All right. So, what I have access to here is I can go Arch Phoenix Centric just to go ahead and pop his card. Um, but first I'm going to Duelist Alliance. I'm going to Duelist Alliance for Pendulum Call. And that way I can Arch Phoenix Centric away his Black Whirlwind. And then I can Pendulum Call. And I'll Pendulum Call for, um, for Wisdom Eye. And uh, I'll discard this. I'll Pendulum Call for Wisdom Eye. And Ove Dragon. Uh, Wisdom Eye specifically, because I'm going to put it in my scale um, with this. Well, no, no, I'm not. That's a bad move. That's a bad, bad move. Uh, I can hold it in my hand, and I can still do the same play next turn anyway, because I, I wasn't thinking about Pendulum Summoning these, but Pendulum Summoning these is, is like 100% really good. Uh, so we'll do that. So we'll activate these in the scale then. Uh, at least this gets some value. Uh, and I'm going to hold the Wisdom Eye. I can Pendulum this from the extra deck, I can Pendulum these from hand, I can Pendulum this from hand. I kind of want to hold this card, but I don't care actually because if it dies then I just get to add it back with Oak Dragon anyway. So yeah, we'll just do that. Um, that, that seems fine. 100% fine. Uh, I should have Normal Summoned this actually, because then I could have searched the third one. Whoops. Um, that would have been pretty alright. Uh, in fact, I could still do that to a degree. Um, I'll try to I'll try to bounce this just to see what happens, right? 
if he he's he's sending one to let it go. Okay. Now we'll try this one. Just to just to get the cards out of his deck, right? That's that's what we want to do. We want to get these cards out of his deck. And so now I just get to attack him. <laughs> um, let's see. I could make uh, I can make these two into something cool, or I could just do this and pop, and that's more damage. Um, so like there. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just made him burn the ones out of his deck for for literally no additional additional reason. So that's fine. That that that's the way we want this to go. Uh, but so we'll just keep attacking this, and this is just game by itself, right? No, I'm a hundred short. <laughs> Fuck. Oh no. Okay. Well then, making trapeze magician was definitely the right play. Um, I don't have access to anything that burns him. Fuck. Okay. Well, it's fine. I've got basically two Kirins, and I've got an Apex Avion on the board. I've got two Hor two Lunas and Big Bird. Like, there's no reason that I should be in any sort of, like, like bad situation. Like, there's none, because these cards can all bounce themselves to my hand to potentially dodge things. Uh, but so, Upstart Goblin is fine. He's at 100. Allure is fine. I'm not going to negate anything until it's something that's a problem, like, say, Raigeki or something like that. A blizzard. Uh, so he banished one blizzard off of the allure, and now he's summoning this blizzard, and he's going to bring back Chris, I'm assuming. Um, but the thing is, is I'm not going to bounce that, because that doesn't make sense, because if I bounce it, um, sure, he can't dodge the effect in any way, but at the same time, like, why? Why would I? Why would I be doing this sort of thing? You know, because he could a special it from hand. Oroshi the Squall, you say? Okay. Well, you're gonna synchro into something. I'm gonna go, go, go ahead and start out holding A. Soul Charge. <laughs> you should have 100% activated that card a little bit later. Um, now, if this last card in your hand is Raigeki, now I actually just don't care uh, because you've already used your normal summon, and I would just utilize two of these fairy tale uh, Lunas to bounce your cards in response to the Raigeki. Um, so I'm not I'm not worried about that at all. Wait, why did I even do that? He was going to burn himself to death with Soul Charge. I'm a dumb motherfucker. <laughs> I, just got, I just got really caught up in the moment here um, in terms of what I needed to, uh, to see and access. Uh, but I'm going to bounce this. It's going to leave him with just the Oroshi. Um, and yeah, so... Okay, that was 100% in my favor, in no way, shape, or form was that any way disputable that that was in my favor. Uh, that that wasn't in my favor, rather. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't just let the Soul Charge go through. He was going to burn himself for game. I literally forgot what life he was at. And I was just like, oh, that was a good card for you to have, my man. <laughs> why did I do that? I don't understand why I do the things that I do. Sometimes I am just a dumb dumb motherfucker how long has this been recording for okay that's that's all right that's acceptable so i guess we will end it here so anyway as always guys thanks for watching let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below i might be playing with the new magician pendulums that are coming out in the uh, pendulum evolution set that comes out later this week uh i haven't looked into any like extraneous builds i know that there's some metal foes build that plays astrograph sorcerer that might be something i take a look at also uh but i definitely wanted to play with old school odd eyes magicians for a little bit first so that's something I wanted to get out of the way. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below, as I've already said. Other than that, as always, links are in the description to my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to support the channel directly, Patreon is the best way to do so. Even something as little as a dollar a month opens up the Patreon feed to you, which allows you to have access into voting on what order my videos go up in, if that is something you want access into, or just have a voice of what, how the, of what and how the channel is doing in terms of how it is being uploaded and run on. Uh, that's something you want to look into. And also, the $5 reward tier gets you access into my Discord server, where me and a bunch of other people chat on a daily basis. So if you're interested in that, then definitely go check out the Patreon and pick whatever you are interested in. Any support is greatly appreciated and helps me continue to make content well into the future, because God knows YouTube doesn't pay enough for the work you put into it. But other than that, like the video if you like the content and you like all the sort of nonsense that's been going up on the channel and want to support it. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I'd love to welcome you on board and all that sort of jazz. Would love to welcome you to the community built around this channel that somehow functions with me at the helm of it. I'm definitely, definitely not perfect, but 
hopefully I'm improving in terms of a player and a content creator and an upload schedulist and things of that nature. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual, guys, and take care. I will see you in the next video.